Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Lisa with Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today I am going to show you my collection of Sun Life drawing books. They have quite a number of them out on Amazon. They have a brand new one out that I haven't received yet, but I do have all the other ones. I was going to show you my collection of Jade Summer books because the month of January is, it's all about Jade Summer. But I am receiving a few more on Monday. Um, and I can't show my Christmas haul either because I'm also receiving a few things on Monday. So that'll be two upcoming videos that I'll be doing next week. So without further ado, I will start showing you the uh, all the books from Sun Life Drawing. These two are very similar. They have the same designs, but one of them is called One Color Mandala, which is right up my alley because I love coloring with a limited palette. And the other one is called Mosaic Mandala Color by Number. Is it Mandala or Mandala? I used to always say mandala, but now I hear everybody saying mandala, so I guess I'll change it to mandala. Okay, so one color mandala, as you can guess, is one color, and I, I did a few of these in here, um, and I, of course, with my glitter gel pens, because that's my thing, is glitter gel pens. Um, so yeah, it's just, you wouldn't have to use just one color. You could color them just like a regular mandala and use whatever colors you want. Um, but I did elect to go with just one color. And then the book that kind of accompanies that is the color by number, Mosaic Mandala. And I did a few in here also. Let's see. And they give you your color palette. One thing that I really like about all of the Sun Life Drawing color by number books is that their color palette with their numbers are the same throughout their all their books. And so if you have a mark, say you're coloring with markers and you know which marker you want for black and you know which one for this and you know which one for dark blue, you know it's going to work throughout all of their color by number books and I really like that. So here too I did a few in here and I really kind of like the color palettes that they chose. They're colors that I probably wouldn't have chosen myself but I, I thought they worked out rather nice. Some of them, um, like I said, they're, they're much different than colors I would have put together. But I really like how they turn out. So that's both of the mandala books. And next is another mandala book. You'll notice that uh, the first two are a little bit smaller. Um, and the one color mandala is on cream paper where all the rest of these books are on the bright white paper. So this one is called Relax and Color Mandalas. And there, you know, as you can guess, here's uh, the contents of the book. And they have sayings on each one. This one says, happiness is not something ready made. It comes from your own actions. And that's from the Dalai Lama. So yeah, every page has a nice saying and it says down at the bottom who it's by. I have not colored, oh yes, I guess I did. Um, I guess I did color a couple out of these. And of course, again, with my glitter gel pens. So yeah, I don't think I colored too many. In the back they have a black version then of the uh, ones in the front. So it's, it's a rather big book. Um, so yeah, that's another mandala book. Then come the books that I really love to do. Um, again, it's, it's pretty much in one color. So 
you know, it doesn't take a whole lot of decision when uh, you decide on, on what color to color in these books. It's called Lines and Dots. So some of the pages are just lines that you color and it makes a picture. So here's a dolphin. Didn't do that one. This one is dots. Like I said, I do like the lines better. I think I did more than that in here. Okay, there is a dragon. And there is a pretty rose. Don't know if I did it more in here or not. Oh yeah. Um, ladybug, a uh, pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern. So yeah, I, I really enjoy these. There's a swan. So yeah, that, that's a lot of fun. I, I love, again, using my glitter gel pens in that one. And here is one, animals, lines and dots. And again, it's, it's basically the same principle. There's a panda bear. And there, I believe, is an eagle. There's a squirrel. I did a lot of them in here. Here's a, I'm not sure what that was. Some type of bear. Um, there's a dog. As you can tell, I like the line ones more. <laughs> there is an owl. A lion. I won't show them all, but yeah, they're a lot of fun. Uh, as you can see, I did do a lot out of that one. Okay, out of the same line of books, here's one that is just dots. So it's animals, one color dots. Not sure how many I did out of this one. But yeah, they're just all different size dots. And uh, you color them in, well, I color them in one color. I suppose you wouldn't have to. There's one I did. And I can't see what it is. Hmm. And there's a bunny. So yeah, they, these are a lot of fun. Wolf howling at the moon. So yeah, I did I did a number of them out of there. And again, along the same lines is one color lines which is my favorite, and this one again is of animals. So let's see how many I did out of here. I don't think too many out of this one. I know I did some, because I always do some whenever I, whenever I get them. Birds. Koala, I think that's koala. Crow. Or raven. <laughs> Lizard. So yeah, an, another fun book. And next is Animals One Color Arts. Now this is a little bit different because there are swirly lines along with, you know, some of them being just dots. This one has a combination of dots and swirly lines, or crooked lines. So like, here's a dolphin. These are a lot of fun too. An owl. Sometimes you can figure out what the animal is before you start coloring in it, but not always. And there's a frog. Parrot, zebras, had to do that in black, of course. So yeah, uh, another fun book that I colored quite a few out of. Now we're going to get to the next type of books that they have come out with, and it's all their quest books. And they are all color by number, I believe. 
Uh, this one is Fantasy Quest. And I did a number of these. And again, there's your color palette. In the front, they give you places for you to test your colors out on to see if it's the colors that you want. And here is a very colorful bird. These are hexagonal shapes, so they're a little bit harder than the uh, circles. And here one is one that uh, is triangles. That one wasn't as bad. And I think that might be all I've done in here so far. Whoops. Yeah, I got to get back at this book because it, it is another fun one. So that is Fantasy Quest, color by number. Here is Baby Animal Quest, color by number. And I did a few in here, too. Some of these are harder. Some of them are easier. Like this one has a little bit smaller numbers. Some of them um, are a little bit bigger. Kind of depends upon the detail that's in the picture. So let's see. I know I did some in the beginning. A lot of times when I get these books, I just start at the beginning and, and do a few. So there's a bear by a tree, again with my glitter gel pen. Wow, is that the only one I did in here? Really? Wow, I gotta get back at this one too. Okay, then Pokemon Quest. Any of you Pokemon lovers out there would like this book. And as you can imagine, they are all the Pokemon characters. I think I did a couple in the beginning. So I do not know my Pokemon characters. <laughs> People out there are probably yelling, I know what that is. And I believe I did Pikachu, because that's, that's the one that I do know. Maybe I didn't. Oh, there's one. Not sure what that is either. Okay, guess I didn't do Pikachu. Okay, so on to the next one is Coloring Quest. And again, this is very similar to some of the others. Some of them you color in triangles according to the numbers over here. And some of them are circles, again, according to the numbers. There's one I did of a ladybug. And this is the picture from the front I thought was so pretty of the, is that supposed to be a pelican? It's not a swan, it must be a pelican. Okay, and it looks like I haven't done a whole lot in here either. There's a hummingbird. I like how this one turned out. I thought the flowers were so pretty. And again, you can put your palette, palette, <laughs> palette uh. your color palette down and test out your mediums, test out your colors. Okay. Animal Quest Love, color by number. This is a cute one, too. Very uh, similar to the other ones, where they're hexagonal in shape. There's quite a few in each of these books. A lot of fun. Especially for those of you who like color by number, um, these take a little while to do and I like that okay so that was the love one here is animal quest color by number again similar format anybody with a vision impairment might have a problem seeing some of this because it is kind of light which also makes it hard to stay in the lines sometimes. 
but it all looks good in the end. You can't, you know, you're, you're your own worst critic, so you'll see it, but when you take a picture of it, you won't even see it, won't even tell. Okay, here is another color by number, and this is a Christmas one, Animal Quest Christmas. Boy, I'm having problems talking today. Okay, so these are all, they always do have bonus pages in the back. And that is from um, some of their other books. So yeah, you will always get a few bonus pictures. And these are all, again, in the same format as the other ones. I believe they're all hexagon shaped, but these are, as the book title suggests, all Christmas pages. Isn't they cute? Kitty with a mouse on its head under a Christmas tree. Okay, now we're going to get into another different type of book that they came out with, and I think these are probably my favorite, and it is the Mosaic books. And this is the Christmas one. Again, color by number. And what I do with these is, I know some people are going to freak out, but I color all of these with my Copics. <laughs> um, I went through my Copics and I found colors that match these really good. And I did have to change them a few times before I got to the colors exactly like I wanted. And they are shown on the back of the book. So I kind of went according to this. And I did come up and I wrote them down on a sheet of paper which Copic marker corresponded to what color. Then I colored them in and of course anybody knows with alcohol markers and create space paper it is going to bleed, it is going to feather out. So as careful as I am it still happened. So what I do when I am completely done with the picture is I take a silver glitter gel pen and anybody that works with glitter gel pens knows that a silver one is more of a metallic and it covers up the black lines well in this case that's what I wanted to happen so again when I'm done coloring the entire picture I go over it with all the lines with a uh, silver gel pen if you can see that not sure if you can see it or not. There, you can kind of see it on the horse. So yeah, that's what I always do in the mosaic books. And some of these are so cute. Like, there's a snowman. These you can kind of make out and tell. Well, mostly. Maybe not that one. Uh, you can mostly make out what the, what the picture is. I really liked how this one turned out, too. Christmas tree with the presents underneath. And again, I went over all the lines with a silver gel pen. I'm not sure. And again, of course, with alcohol markers, you definitely, here's Santa Claus, you definitely are going to want to have, you know, have to place a sheet of paper behind because Naturally, alcohol markers are going to bleed through to the next page. So that is the Christmas mosaics. Then we have travel mosaic color by number. Again, I really like this book. In the front of the book, it typically tells you the contents. So you kind of know, if you want to cheat, <laughs> what picture is what. Now for the travel one, it kind of really helped because... Not everybody's going to know what all of these are. At least I don't. You know, some of course you will. The Taj Mahal, Big Ben, you know, your your very famous type of places. But not going to know all of them just by the pictures in here. So here's the Taj Mahal. Again, colored with my Copics and went over all the lines with a silver gel pen. Here is Big Ben. 
here is what was that one the Sydney Opera House I believe and this is the not sure what the name was but I know it's the you know Egyptian pyramids of some sort <laughs> And I don't remember either what this is. I'm sure somebody out there does. As you can tell, I, I do like this book and I want to get back into these mosaic books. A lot of pages in there. And then last but not least is the animal mosaic color by number. And again, another book that I just love. Isn't that pretty? The Eagle like the sky and again went over all the lines with the silver gel pen not sure how many I did in here there's some parrots loved how all the colors turned out in this one. Oh my gosh I didn't go back over it with my silver gel pen I'm gonna have to do that makes it look so much more complete and neat Hmm. Oh, dragonfly. Isn't that pretty? I guess it goes this way. And let's see. Peacock. Hmm. Not sure if I did any more. Nope. Okay, in the front of the book again, it tells you pretty much what animals are all in here. So you can see there's quite a few. Um, so this is my entire collection of the Sun Life drawing books, and I just love them. Again, these are all available on Amazon. And if anybody has any questions on any of these books or you want more of a complete flip through or you have, you know, you, I said that already. If you have any questions, uh, please leave it in the comments below. Please, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that bell so you're notified if uh, I put out any new videos after you subscribe. Please subscribe. And yeah, I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. It is Friday today, so for most people, I guess this is their last work day for the week, and they have their weekend to look forward to. So hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. And like I said, I have a bunch of things coming on Monday. So after that, I am hoping to make a couple of videos. I'm going to have to see how I can record here on my desk because I babysit my granddaughter every day, so it would be impossible to record during the day then. So I'm going to see how it looks in here if I record at night. I do have um, a few lights in here, but uh, I'm not exactly sure how it's going to show up at night. It's nice and bright in here today. As a matter of fact, I had to close my patio door blinds because the sun was shining in, which is so nice to see in mid-Wisconsin. So, okay, I guess that's it. Until the next video, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.